Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to show you a little bit more about uh, text presets and show you how we can browse the presets and see what they're going to do before we put them on our text. So, what you need to have for this is Adobe Bridge, which usually comes with all um, Adobe products, so you should already have that. So, what you want to do is, well, I'll show you what Bridge looks like real quick. Let me type it in here so you can uh, see what the uh, logo looks like. And if you look down here, it's the BR with the uh, yellow color, and it's Adobe Bridge CS6. So we can come up to After Effects now and come into Animation and then come down to Browse Presets. And this will open up Adobe Bridge. Now we'll, it brings us right to where our presets folder is in After Effects. Now if we come down here to the text folder, so this is the exact same folders that you'll find over here in your effects and presets um, search panel on the right. So let's go into the text folder here, double click on it, and then let's just come into any uh, text that, preset that we want to. We'll come into fill and stroke, and then we can just click on any of these and after a second it'll pull up here in this preview and then we can look and see what the um, what it does in real time now we can make this a little bigger but not too much bigger um, it's just a preview panel so we can check out the uh, different presets we got here and then I can show you like the different um, the different uh, categories of presets that we have and so you can ex see what you want to expect when you open up a text folder so it doesn't take so long. So let's go back in here and that was fill and stroke so basically this changes the color and adds possibly adds like a stroke to it so that's uh you can see what's going down here so they got some cool looking effects and um, let's go on to the next one. Got 3D text here. Now this is 3D space, not the th not the kind of 3D text that like uh, you would make with the ray trace 3D renderer. So we've got some rotating. Everything that happens has to do with 3D space. You've got the it, you've got it in this area. So let's go back. Animate in. So these uh, are going to come in into play. So you use these if you want your words to come in. Let's bring up, uh, there I go, fading in. This one's called buzzwords. This one, you won't be able to tell what this one does, but you uh, type in different words into your source text, and this will pop up a bunch of different words. So, I mean, here's these. Now the opposite of it is animate out and you can probably see that it just takes the text off the screen. So that's how that that's how this one works. Let's get out of here and go to blurs. Now the blurs are, are the words are coming on by using blur. Or they're coming off using a blur. As you can see here. So that's that one. Now we've got our curves and spins, which you guessed it, it'll be words coming on or off or just on there using different uh, spins and like things like that. So let's check out uh, tire rim. A little crazy on that one. Some of these are a little crazy and weird. I wouldn't use all of them, but that one might be cool for like a design kind of a logo. Let's get out of here. We got expressions. Here's the buzzwords that I was talking about um, where you could use the uh, where they just pop up different words and they've got this in the expression so you might as well use that one instead of the other one and then you just edit the words in the uh, inside the expression. And I'll have to go over our expressions at some time with you guys. Frame number in case you ever needed to uh, have that in the side it's good for when you're working on film so when you're 
when you're uh, rendering it out, it'll have the frame number in the corner. And when you go to review it, you can see what frame it is, frame you messed up on pretty much. So there you go. Let's go back to uh, um, the next one. We already went over a fill and stroke graphical. And there you go. It has a, I don't know, like, kind of like graphics in it. That's what the graphical stands for. See, they're a little crazy. All right, let's head to the next one. Lights and optical.